Hello, hello, KV Core users. It's Annalisa, and I wanted to show you a really quick way you can reverse prospect your database within KV Core. So maybe you have a new listing within uh, that you've signed, or maybe a listing within your company, and you want to try to find matches uh, within your dashboard. Here is a way you can attempt to do that. We're going to enter the Smart CRM, which is your second option down on the top left. Then we're going to build a filter via the Smart CRM. And we're going to save it uh, so we can come back to it any time. So I'm going to click Filter. And let's say I want to see all of my new leads and active leads uh, and maybe some prospects that may be interested in a specific area, specific type of property. Next, I can go into uh, the property interest here at the bottom. And I can enter in a price range, an area, bed and bath. So I could say I want to see everyone in Westchester. If I spelled it correctly, that'd probably be helpful, right? Uh, so I can put in Westchester and uh, save that type of information. For some reason, things looks like that changed up a little bit. We're just going to choose Brewster here. Uh, but you get what I'm saying. You can put in specific areas. Then you can drop in your bed and bath and your price range. And then you can actually click Save Filter here at the bottom right. And we can name this filter so we can come back to it again and again and again if we wanted to. So I could just say this is, you know, Brewster, Lookers, maybe, you know, 300K plus, whatever I wanted to name it. And I can save this filter, and it'll be an option we can have added to where these filters are landing on the Smart CRM when you open it. So I'm going to save that filter, and we can see it's currently not showing here. However, I can go into Filters Applied, click this little cog, and this is going to give me the ability to toggle lists over or remove them. So if you kind of keep your eye on this top right-hand side, you'll kind of see that list kind of become shorter and shorter as I remove this information. So now if we look at this, we're only going to see uh, these two showing when I say save. So now you can see I just have those two filters showing, but if I wanted to go in and add others, I could just click filter, the cog, and then, you know, bring back my list for luxury homes or monthly newsletter or new actives that call, you know, contacted me in the last seven days. So you have the ability to toggle these on or off depending on what you want your view to be, as well as save them if it's information you're going to be coming back to time and time again. And then once you have your list in front of you, you know, you can choose everybody or you could choose, okay, I need to send it to Abby, Neil, uh, Brian, Joe, and then you could get into your mass email, mass text, and send out information to those folks. Or you could use the same hashtag uh, information if you wanted to send out kind of a newsletter type of thing uh, via your marketing autopilot, scheduled mass email, and you could click schedule email here at the top right. Then you can say, okay, I want this to go to all contacts with this particular hashtag uh, or this particular saved filter. So I could say, all right, well, I'm going to, you know, grab my people in Bruiser and I want to send this content out to them. Or I could click my advanced editor and add in a video, photos, clickable uh, options and so forth. So you've got different ways you can send out the information and identify the information and uh, get it out to your folks. Have a great day.